Hey, so what's going on everyone? I'm going to transfer from the iPhone 15 Pro Max to the new iPhone 16 Pro Max. So you wanna check your battery power. Make sure both devices are charged as much as you can get them charged. And you wanna put them side by side. The next thing you wanna do is go into your settings and you wanna make sure that you have your Bluetooth turned on. You wanna make sure that you're connected to your Wi-Fi or your cellular service. I have good Verizon service, so I'm gonna do this transfer with my Verizon service, which you can do as well if you don't have access to Wi-Fi. So when I'm done with this transfer, this iPhone 16 Pro Max will look identical to the iPhone 15 Pro Max with all the apps and everything. Because you are switching from one device to another, you may have to log into some of your apps because you're putting them on a new device and the apps will recognize that. But some will transfer and work perfectly for you and still have their passwords and stuff. Sometimes that's a little different, so you'll have to check that once the transfer is done. The other thing you wanna do before you do the transfer, go ahead and go into your old iPhone settings and you wanna come down, go to general, and then go to software update. You wanna do any updates in here that are available because you want to get to iOS 18. Okay, so I just updated the old iPhone 15 Pro Max here to iOS 18. I'm just gonna go in and verify that under general, under software update, and it's running 18.0. I did that using my Verizon network. I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, so it took me about 15 to 20 minutes to do that update. So what I recommend you do next, if you use iCloud, you wanna go in and back up your phone quick. So go in here, go to iCloud, scroll down and choose iCloud backup and click backup now. That will back everything up, you know, and kind of get you up to date before you do the transfer. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start the transfer process. All you should really need to do is follow the prompts. So swipe up on your new phone and you should get a pop-up over here that says set up new phone. If you don't, press your side button here and re-log back into your phone. Sometimes you have to refresh your home screen in order to get the pop-up. But then go ahead and then select your language, your country. You'll have to go through a few prompts until you get to this that says quick start, looking for nearby devices. At this point, all you should need to do is click continue. I'll put my passcode in. Once you click continue, hold your new iPhone up to the camera. So all you should have to do is line that up like that. I'm setting up this iPhone for myself. Now it wants the passcode of the other phone. Here's where you have the option now to connect this one to Wi-Fi, which I recommend you do if you have Wi-Fi. I'm purposely using cellular because I want to see how the process goes using my cellular service. So I'm just going to click continue without Wi-Fi. So for my particular transfer, I'm going to choose this option. I'm going to transfer from another iPhone because I'm completely going to be leaving this one. And just so you know, during this process of transferring, it's basically making a copy from this phone over to this phone. So if something goes wrong, all your data, videos, pictures, all that stuff is still on this phone and still going to be you know, connected to iCloud, which you can still access. These two phones, once this transfer is done, will be identical. So you will not lose data or anything like that. So I'm just going to select that, transfer my number, Confirm transfer on other phone. And I guess you have to double click the button. Also the eSIM for your service, your mobile service will transfer automatically from this phone over to this phone. It should set up automatically and activate your new, you know, activate you with your current mobile service over on your new phone. I should mention too that this transfer process, this copy process is going to take uh, different times for everyone. It could take you a half hour or less. It might take you up to an hour or more. It depends on how much you know you guys have on your device and things like that. Everything that's in your iCloud account should transfer from iCloud. Once you're logged in over here to your iCloud account, it will sync from iCloud and see all your videos and pictures and stuff like that. So now if you guys look, it says 5G up there. So the cellular process transferred perfectly. 
cellular setup complete. This phone number is now active on this phone. Once that's done, we'll take a look at this phone and see if it deactivated and transferred. You might not see some of these prompts if you're using Wi-Fi. Your Wi-Fi will still continue to work on the old phone and those settings should transfer over to the new one. So just continue to follow the prompts on your new phone. Face ID, I'm going to actually set that up later to get through this transfer process. So you have two options here to choose from. I want this phone to look identical to this one. So I'm gonna choose this option right here, which takes 10 to 15 minutes or more, depends on the user. Once this phone gets set up and it's logged into iCloud, you'll still get all your iCloud data downloading to this phone. So you can just choose this option right here. Again, any prompts that come up, just continue, agree, just continue to move forward with all the pop-ups. This is actually the first time that I used cellular to actually do the transfer instead of Wi-Fi but you can see it set it up perfectly. Okay, moving on to the next steps. That last screen finished and I had to put my passcode in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let that all be and click continue. And then I'll do these services later and add this card later and just follow the prompts. Continue. Okay, so emergency, emergency SOS, just continue. So transferring data from iPhone. You can also see now that it says SOS, so what I believe it did was deactivate the mobile service and put it over here. So whatever your mobile service is, it should now be on your new phone, ready to go once these screens look identical and the transfer is done. However, you will still be able to use your old phone, just like normal, to go in and check everything, uh, as long as you're connected to your Wi-Fi. Same goes for this phone. You'll go through this phone once the transfer is done and make sure that you're happy with everything that copied over. Look for your messages, you know, your data, documents, all that good stuff. Make sure you're happy with what's over here and everything's good before you go through and factory reset this phone to erase everything, which you can choose to do whenever you would like. Okay, we're down to the last minute here. So once the transfer is complete, this phone should reboot automatically. You should not have to touch anything. Okay, so the transfer is complete. I'm gonna swipe up on this phone, put my passcode in. Transfer complete, continue. Erase this phone. I don't know where you guys are at as far as erasing your old phone if you're gonna send it in. You can do this step later. So I'm gonna click not now because I wanna make sure everything copied over, transferred over correctly. So I'll swipe up on this, put my passcode in. And there you go, both phones are identical now. And this one is going to continue downloading apps and downloading from iCloud to be pretty much identical to this phone over here. You will probably not receive any more calls because it deactivated your eSIM and transferred everything over to the new phone. But if you're connected to Wi-Fi, you can still go on here and use your old phone. One thing you wanna check on the new phone is your messages, uh, WhatsApp messages, all that kinds of stuff documents, pictures, music. Give that stuff time to download from iCloud into here and then you'll be good to go. And you can go back on here. Everything is still on this phone. You can still use it. I'm just gonna go in here to settings real quick. And as long as you're logged into iCloud, everything should finish setting up, you know, in the background and download to the new phone. Again, you'll have to give it some time. That is how you can transfer from one iPhone to another, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, iPhone 16 Pro Max. Pretty simple, it might take you a half hour might take you an hour, but that's how you can do it. I hope the process works well for you guys. If you like this video, hit that like button, drop comments below, whatever you gotta do. And if you can, share this video so others can get a chance to see it and follow this process because it works really well when it actually works. So thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.